All right, guys, Big Papa Timo here. We're back playing a little more subsistence. This is the actual episode 11, not the fake episode 11 that we had before. And we got to get some stuff done. Uh, we're going to need to make ourselves a bow because we don't have one. We need cordage for that. And we're going to need some sticks. We have some arrows have some sticks, we don't have enough cordage, and we don't really have enough stuff to uh, make it. So we need to go find some stuff. I have been reading everybody's comments. Thanks for all the advice. You guys are absolutely amazing. Uh, definitely very useful information. I will definitely prove useful. I've also been watching a whole bunch of videos on gameplay from other people. I picked up some interesting tips and tricks that I'm going to try out. Uh, but the big thing is, of course, I just need to, uh, I still need to get stuff and uh, get a good feel for this game. I'm still kind of struggling with the slight differences. There's a bear over there. The slight differences between this and other survival games. It's nothing really too severe or anything else like that. It's just, uh, it, it takes a little getting used to. It really takes a little getting used to. But I get it. It's a very difficult game. And it's meant to be. Another bear over there. A chicken nearby. We need to get the bow so that we can hunt them. Now, one of the big things that everybody was saying is that the uh, fibers will spawn anywhere. There's no real better place for that. And that the boxes, oftentimes, will spawn behind you. So you kind of need to turn around every once in a while. And see if one has popped up where you just were. Which, I mean, makes sense. You know, you'll you'll walk through a zone and force something to spawn in. Also come to understand that you get to the point where you're going to be needing several pieces of meat per day. So the fishing is definitely going to be something very useful. That was wonderful advice on, on how to do the fishing. Alright, we got onions. And then one of the other big things was make sure that you hit the big trees every time you pass them by. These give you either four to six pieces of wood. So they are always worth the slight diversion to get them. More so than hitting the three whack trees. The bear over there. And then the other thing that everybody was saying was when you run out of stamina, that's the best time to stop and whack a tree. Now, I didn't even think about that because I figured that would actually be kind of counterintuitive. I thought whacking down a tree would lower your stamina, but it doesn't. As you can see, my stamina is rebuilding as I'm doing this. Did not even realize that.
that was definitely a useful bit of information. Making sure you have a little stamina as well as also a very good bit of advice so that you can run away from things if you need to. I did also learn about the behavior of the wolves and the bears that they will only pursue you for a certain amount of time before they get tired or bored and stop. Which actually leads to a, a hunting method that I do want to try at some point in time, but I need the bow first. I need the bow and a few arrows. Really not having much luck with the boxes. It's also getting dark. Very quickly. Also understand that the animals can in fact swim, so running into the water is not a safe escape. Or at least that's what I've been told. side of caution in that regard. Alrighty. We are fully fueled up on that one. like that so that we don't freeze our nubbins off. Uh, we definitely need to eat something. Might as well just eat them all. Alright, now let's do this. Like that. All of this stuff away. Whoop. Rut row. Alright, we're going to need to make another box, apparently. Pick up the cordage real quick. Pick those up. You need some fishing tackle. We could probably carry this. Well, I don't really want to lose it. 
I honestly think the fishing tackle's a little bit more important than the bow at the moment. Uh, what we are lacking for is feathers. Yeah, seriously lacking on the feather department. Alright, we can craft that now. We actually have the stuff to make the shotgun. I am more interested in the rifle though. So the iron fragments, something we're going to need to work towards. But for that we need, I think we need to be able to smelt things. Let me see, how are we doing on sticks? Use some more of those. Definitely use some more of those. Would have preferred a big salmon, but you know. Do a little night fishing. There's right on. Don't want to burn them. And we're not in a rush, so. Yeah, if I was fishing, I probably would burn these. They cook pretty quickly. All right, let's see if we can get further out. No fishing tackle. What? Well, 
that sucks. All right, we're definitely going to have to do some venturing for some cordage. Give me a big one. Well, that kind of sucks. I mean, it's better than nothing, but, uh, yep. <sighs> All right, we have the bow. We have a couple arrows. Let's go ahead and put all this stuff back away. Keep the fish on us. And we're going to go ahead and eat the fish. Fish cook fast. Alright. We do have stuff to make another fire if we need to. That's good. Uh, Let's go ahead and heal that up just in case. to test out my hunting ability just yet on that wolf. From what I understand, they only take three arrows to kill them. And if you keep your distance and back up, you can get them before they even get to you. We'll test that out later once we have more arrows and are doing a little bit better. And from what I understand, the bears only take five. Some more onions. The wolf over there. over here, a rabbit and a big tree and some fibers. And a level one wolf, I believe. it'd be real close to the box. This might be risky. Don't know if I really want to risk it for this biscuit, guys. I'm going to try and sneak up on this box. That was worth it for the protein bar, for sure. Right, 
Where'd that wolf go? All right, he's just chilling out over there. I didn't bring the arrows with me, I'm like a moron. Well, that's one rabbit we're not getting. I don't remember if I hit this tree, I did. All right, well, we got to go around this wolf. Or at least someplace else. Deer. What do we got here? Big tree, play whack a mole on that one for a minute. Right, let's get a little high ground, see what we got, if anything. coming this way. Let's go ahead and get away from him now. Better to be safe than sorry. Alright, got the fence line. Sometimes the fence line's good to us, sometimes it's not. Is this tree one of the four whack ones? Two, three, nope, just a threeper. Alright, so one of the things I definitely need to do, I need to make another, uh, I need to start expanding that base a little bit, but that takes cordage. I need to make more arrows. That takes feathers. So I either need to focus on getting cordage or feathers. Or both, well, I mean, pretty much both, but. The more arrows 
as I can get. Then I can try and start hunting the chickens. And that should give me feathers and meat, which would be a good, good supplemental. I'm going to have to figure out some of the cooking recipes for this game. Especially if I keep picking up these onions. And I also need to figure out what some of the other plants look like. Like, I don't even know what the blueberries look like, but I know they spawn. I still have a whole bunch of learning to do, that's for sure. It's a very interesting survival game, though, to be perfectly honest. Um, a lot of encouraging words from the community, too, which was super cool. I felt a lot less of an idiot after reading some of the comments. carrots. That's medicinal herbs. So anything with that really vibrant green should be paid attention to, except for these ferns. These ferns are that vibrant green as well. They don't do jack. Which is kind of strange. You'd figure that there'd be like fiddleheads or something on there. Fire is definitely gone out. Definitely, definitely gone out. Definitely. Oh, hello, Mr. Bear. Oh, I haven't made the pickaxe yet either. I should probably do that sometime soon.
Another bear over there. Another chicken. Several deer. There's a box over that way. Let's go around the bear to get to it. Another damn chicken I can't shoot because I don't have my friggin' arrows with me. I haven't gotten a single feather on this this little adventure. Look at that. Two chickens. They know I don't have any arrows. They know. I was trying to be a little sneaky. Oh, that's a crate. Do I need a lockpick for this one? Oh. Yeah, they definitely know that I don't have... Arrows, that's why there's so many of the damn little things. Alright, some copper. Doesn't do me much good. Let's go get to this little outcropping for a second so I can drop a save. There's a box down there. Go ahead and save that. That's going to be it for this episode, guys. Thanks again for all the love and support. Thanks for all the comments, all the help plants. Please feel free to uh, drop anything else that might be useful information. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that thumbs up. Give the video a like if you like what you see. If you haven't, you might want to subscribe. That cost you a thing it means the world to me. And hit that notification, get notified every time Big Pop Timo puts up new content or goes live. Till next time, guys, don't die to the damn wolves.